Hello guys, welcome to Centom and for today's episode I will be pruning my Ficus Benjamina bonsai. Now the first thing that I did here was to remove these suckers underneath the trunk. It usually Ficus produces a lot of little plants underneath the trunk. If there are any small plants growing from it, baby plants or any weeds that are growing on the soil, you have to remove them because they can take away the nutrients from your bonsai. So you have to make sure that anything that will compete with your plant, you have to remove them. You have to make sure that your cut is clean so they will not grow back again. As you could see here, there is a separate plant that grew from the trunk. It has developed its own aerial roots already. So you have to be consistent in checking your plant to see if there are any suckers in your bonsai. I am using this special scissor. It is specially made for protruding wood because sometimes when you cut your branches there are woods that is left in it so you have to make sure that the area is clean by removing any protruding wood that's why the shape of that scissor is concave now the next thing that i will do is to remove any leaves that is old or discolored now ficus Benjamina is one of the most widely available here in Southeast Asia. It is very affordable and it is very easy to propagate. It is one of the best material that you could use because we cannot use the material that is available in colder countries like China and Japan because the bonsai there is usually made of maples and pine which is not very suitable to our climate while ficus is widely available and it can be easily grown even though you cut it all the time the leaves will grow back even if you reduce a lot of its roots it will still grow back and even if there's a lot of what they call this problem right? like, like pests they don't die easily they're quite strong so this is one of the best material that you could use as a bonsai material so what I am doing right now is to remove any leaves that is growing upwards and I'm also removing the branches that are growing parallel to each, each other so you you have to make a choice which branch you will be keeping because you don't want any of this branch to be too cluttered you have to make a choice and I also remove any branches that is growing towards in front of you you have to determine the front area or front angle of your bonsai so here is the finished product and i hope you enjoyed this demo and if you like this video please like and subscribe and thank you for watching and see you in the next episode goodbye